can someone tell me if you can hear the music and if it's too loud or too quiet? Okay, I'm not getting a response, so I'm going to go with it's okay. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, we have four folks, five folks, six folks. Um, let's get started, and people can join in as they come along. We're doing a gentle flow today, gentle vinyasa flow. Um, I have grabbed a chair, not because I have to have it, but because it's a nice option. If people don't like to sit on the floor, they can always sit on the chair. So as I'm sitting on the floor now, you can sit in your chair. Just some of the same things we'll be doing. Also later, I might give you an option to do a uh, downward dog on the chair or wall, which would just be a downward dog with your hands on the chair or your hands on the wall. Those are nice options for folks that don't want to be on the floor, put a lot of pressure on their wrists. So as we start to settle in, let's just take a seat. Now I also have a blanket. It's always nice to have a blanket. I can use it different ways. I'm supposed to sit on it right now. I'm going to start in Sukhasana, comfortable seated position. Whatever feels good to you. Again, you can sit on your chair if you want to, if you have a chair. You can pile up blankets as high as you like. You can put a pillow on the floor. Whatever makes you comfortable. We'll stack the spine tall. Let's shrug our shoulders up, roll them back, and slide the shoulder blades down the back, creating openness in the front of the body. We just rest our hands on our thighs for the time being. Let's let our eyes softly close. We bring our awareness to our breath. Just following the inhales and exhales. If you'd like to have an intention for your practice today, something to bring out of your practice, you can set that down. And if you'd like a suggestion, offer you serenity. And I will share with you what was on a plaque on my grandmother's wall. You've probably heard it before. God granted serenity to accept things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can. As we now begin following the breath, let's begin to equalize the breath so that the inhales and the exhales are about the same length. And this is your breath, so you can count in your own head how long the inhales last, try to match the exhales. Match the inhales to the exhales. Now let's add a pause. We'll inhale and pause for the same length of time. Then exhale and pause again for the same length of time. I picture it like going around a square. One side is the inhale, one side is the pause, the next side is the exhale, the next side is the pause. At your own pace, do one or two rounds of breath and pause. And as you finish up in the, in the next round, just resume normal breathing. by just turning the head to the right, keeping a nice tall spine, lots of length in the neck, loosening up the neck, coming back to center, turning to the left, still that tall spine. It's the length in the neck and the length of the spine that gives us a nice rotation. Come back to center. Let's tip the right ear toward the right shoulder. I'll give you the option to 
rest your hand on your head. Not to pull, just to add a little resistance to the weight. And do be aware that as I face you, I mirror you. So although I am doing my left side, I'm saying right, because I mirror in your right side. Come back to center. Tip the left ear toward the left shoulder. Option to rest your hand. Just add a little more resistance, a little more stretch. Feel the side of your neck. You might feel it down to your upper shoulder area. Take a bit of scapula. We'll come back to center. Now I'd like you to try to stack your spine really tall. Try to imagine your spine, stack of vertebrae, and your skull sits on top. We're going to tip the skull at the top. We're not going to round the spine over. Just tip the skull. So with a nice tall spine, tip. Let your chin come in towards your collarbone. Keep lifting the back of your head up. Keep the length in the back of your neck. Okay, so back up. Let's bring our fingertips out to the side. We'll round our fingertips into the mat. We'll inhale with both arms up into the air. Keeping the shoulders down, we'll exhale and press down. Let's keep lots of energy in the arms. We're reaching out through the fingertips. Pressing down as we exhale. Inhaling to rise. Exhaling to press. Now the right arm on to a flow. Inhaling to rise up and over. Exhaling down. Inhale left. Inhale right. Inhale left. Find that length through your side body. One more time through, inhale. Inhale and exhale. Next time, we're going to inhale the right arm out to the side. Exhale across the body. Inhale to open back up. Exhale down to the mat. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale across the body. Inhale open. Exhale back down. Inhale right. Exhale cross. Warming things up. And down. Inhale left. And cross. And out. One more round. Right arm up. And cross. Inhale open. Exhale down. Inhale left. And cross. And open. And back down. Let's take the right hand behind the back and prop ourselves up nice and tall. Stack the spine. Take the left hand to the right thigh. Now starting with that inhale, lift the spine tall. We'll exhale, we'll turn to the right. With each inhale, we'll try to bring more length to the spine, stacking the spine, pressing the crown of your head toward the ceiling. With each exhale, we might go a little deeper into our rotation, whatever's available to you. You might ultimately turn your head looking over to the right shoulder. Don't force this, don't wrench your spine. Just make it a gentle twist. You're still warming things up. Relaxing back through center. And sweeping the left hand behind the back. Propping ourselves up. Find lift to the sternum. Right hand, left thigh. Inhale tall. Exhale turn. Inhale lift. Press with the crown of the head. Exhale, grab the over the shoulder. Center. Do that one more time on each side. And I really want to encourage you to follow along and stop and take that inhale first. Don't just jump into your twist right away because I see that happening a lot. Not right now because I can't see anything. But in classes I see it. So follow along, right hand behind, left hand, the thigh. We're not twisting yet. We're inhaling tall first. Now we're exhaling to turn. Like any of my classes, you might know that one of my favorite things to do is to twist. It's good for the core, it's good for the peristalsis, digestion. Relaxing back to center, sleeping the left hand behind, being the right hand over, not turning yet. Inhaling first, tall. Exhaling to rotate. Inhaling to stack the spine. Exhaling to move the shoulder. Relaxing back to center. Let's bring the soles of our feet together. 
Pradhakanasana, butterfly. We can have our heels about the distance of one foot from our torso. We're going to grab our ankles. We're going to stack the spine tall. We're going to press the chest forward, so I'm not grounding my back. I'm lifting the chest. I'm hinging forward. I'm opening my hips, breathing and sinking. And then relaxing back up. Now let's take a nice, comfortable cross leg position that's available to you. Now we'll inhale and lengthen up. And exhale and hinge forward. And walk your fingertips out. Now I am rounding my back this time. Letting my head hang heavy. Walking my fingertips out. Breathing and sinking. Letting my chest sink towards my shins. Stretching out the lower back a little bit here. And slowly walking the hands back in. Position. I'm going to reach forward through my hands down to my mat. Then I've got my blanket. I'm going to put my knees on my blanket. I certainly can. Coming into hands and knees with wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. You inhale to lift the chest and tailbone looking forward. And you exhale to pull the spine and scoop the air out so look in. Inhale, lift the foot forward. Exhale, scoop to look in. Inhale, lift to look forward. Exhale, scoop it in. Come back to neutral. Going to sway the hips from side to side. Come back to stillness. I'm going to roll the hips. So I'll take a cow first, and then shift my hips to the side, scoop into a cat. Just on the other side and right on the mound. Three times around one direction. Holding the hips. When I finish, I'll pause. In reverse direction. Shifting the hips, scooping through the cat, going through the cow, two times, three times. Coming back to stillness. Now I'm going to slide my rib cage from one side to the other. Just shifting from one hand to the other, shifting the ribs over. Me back to stillness. Now I'm going to take that rib cage and roll that one around. So I'll start with my cow, shift to one side, scoop into cat, push the ribs over, and back down three times. Hold the ribs this time. It's not easy to do. I mean, it takes a little getting used to. Just do your best. I'm trying to mobilize the spine. So whatever you do is going to do that, I'm pretty sure. We'll switch directions. Push it over, scoop it around. Hold every cage. Eventually coming back to stillness and sliding the right foot back, holding the toes under, gently rocking, loosening up the calf, mobilizing the ankle joint. Coming to stillness, let's float that right foot up and over the left leg. Plant it. Look over your left shoulder. And we'll rock again, this time on a diagonal. We'll come back to stillness. We'll float that right leg straight out behind us. We'll extend the left arm forward for spinal balance. Let's draw the abs in, brace the core, keep it stable. A couple of breaths and spinal balance. Relax back down to hands and knees. A couple of breaths. Let's slide the left foot back, curl the toes under, resting on the balls of the feet, and we'll rock. We'll stand up the calf, mobilizing the ankle joint. Coming back to stillness, floating that left foot, cross the right foot, looking over the right shoulder, and rocking on the diagonal. Floating that left leg back out behind us again. Now extending the right arm forward to keep our gaze down primarily. I know you're looking at me, that's fine. But keep your gaze primarily down so you're going to align with your spine. Spinal balance, reaching the core, stabilizing the breath. We'll bring it back down. Let's push back to a child's pose now. We'll bring our big toes together, we'll work with our knees as wide as we like. Sink our hips toward our heels. 
option here is more comfortable to roll a blanket out and put it behind your knees to sit back in child's pose. Letting the head sink toward the mat, the forehead sinks down. We still pull our shoulder blades down our back, toward our back to our pockets, down into our palms. We're breathing. On our next inhale, we're going to exhale and walk our hands to the left side of the mat. The option to stack your right hand on top of your left hand. Inhale and exhale, sinking into your right hip, deepening the stretch to the right side of your body, using breath to expand those ribs, expanding your body capacity. We inhale and exhale the hands back to center. We'll settle back in, we'll find our breath again. And then we'll inhale and exhale, walking hands to the right side of the mat. Option to place the left hand on top of the right hand. Inhale and exhale, sinking into your left hip this time. Feeling openness in the left side body, bringing breath into those ribs, expanding and stretching. And then inhaling and exhaling our hands back to center. Again, settling in for a couple of breaths. Let's seal our lips and breathe in and out through the nose from the on. Building heat, our Ujjayi breath, our Ocean breath, our Darth Vader breath that you can just see on the back of your throat. And we'll slowly walk our hands in and we'll sit up. Let's curl our toes under. Get a line between the ribs. So we'll roll back up to the balls of our feet. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, straighten our legs into a forward fold. The knees can stay a little bit soft here. Head to head heavy. The next inhale, let's come to a halfway lift of flat back. You can bring your hands to your shins. Flat back, gaze still primarily down. Try to reach your spine parallel to the floor. Still sliding shoulder blades down the back, lengthening the spine. Picture a tabletop. So look at your plate and saucer, or whatever on your back, and it fall off. Inhale and exhale back to forward fold. Inhale the hands for a lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale the hands for a lift. Exhale to fold forward. Next inhale, we're going to sweep our arms and rise all the way up. Let's bring our hands to heart center. How about a hip width stance? Now you can certainly have a closer stance if you prefer. I use a hip width stance in general, it's more stable. I'm going to start by just shifting my weight from one foot to the other, grounding into my mat, feeling the connection. Coming back to stillness. I'm going to lift all my toes up and then plant them down, leave with pressure that I feel I'm securely braced against my mat. Let's roll the shoulders up and back and down to extend the arms down on their sides with my starfish hands. So everything is active and engaged, We're not just standing or mountain pose. And then the fingers are active. There's energy shooting out your fingertips. Your spine is tall. Your thighs are active. Imagine pulling your kneecaps up your legs. Imagine drawing your navel into your abdomen and up into your cage. Lifting your sternum, keeping your spine tall, pressing the crown of your head toward the ceiling, sliding your shoulder blades down your back, sliding your sacrum down, creating length in your lower back. So some of us tend to be a little bit anterior tilted, try to push that sacrum down and lengthen the spine. Let's inhale to sweep up. Let's exhale to press down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Let's just sway our arms, the figure eight, in and out. Coming back to stillness, and then inhale to rise up. We'll exhale to soften our knees and swan dive back down to forward fold. Inhaling, we lift halfway, flat back. Exhaling, we fold. Inhaling, we sweep back up. 
Exhale, then we swan dive. Knees are soft. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now sweep up. And exhale back to the melting pose. So we're back up so you can see me. Let's inhale to sweep up. Let's interlace our fingers. Point the index fingers. As we inhale, we'll lift and lengthen up through the spine. As we exhale, let's sway to the right, feeling openness in the left side body. When you breathe in, you expand the ribs. When you exhale, you can sink a little deeper into your lateral flexion. Breathe in, expand. Exhale and sink. Keep breathing and sinking. Whatever works for you. Let's inhale back up to center. Breathe. Our next big inhale, we lift up tall. Our exhale, we sway left. Inhale, expand. Exhale, sink deeper. Bring those ribs. Bring it back to center. Bring it back down to heart center. Now ground it into our heels. Let's push our hips back and sink into a nice chair pose. Easy chair pose. Let me sit down. Still with that length in the spine. Shoulders are still back and down. Just open this across the front of your body. And inhale to sweep up. And exhale through heart center, through chair. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale through heart center, through chair. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale through chair. Let's add on. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, soften your knees and swan dive back down. <clears throat> Inhale to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale through chair, through heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Knees are soft. You let the head hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale through chair, through front center one more time. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, swan dive. Soft knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, just to heart center. Find your breath. Let's release our hands. Let's roll our shoulders back. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening the chest. Now we're going to interlace the fingers behind the back. And press the knuckles to the floor, into the chest. Now, if it's available to you, we'll lift our arms off the back a little bit for chest expansion. We're going to use chest expansion a couple more times in the class today. So find whatever works for you. Might be pushing straight down, might be best for you, but we're going to lift up a little bit for more chest opening. And breathe. And release. Let's shake it out. All right, let's come to the top of the mat. Roll the shoulders. Bring the hands to heart center. Take a step back with the right foot. To a lunge. Let's just hold here for a moment. And settle in. Now we're going to shorten the stance a little bit. Parallel feet. To a short stance warrior one. So, a short stance warrior one. My feet are parallel. My feet are parallel. My front knee is bent. My back leg is straight. I'm going to roll my shoulders and open the cactus arms for this one. So, cactus arms, what it sounds like a cactus. I'm going to step forward to prayer, step back to cactus. Forward to prayer, back to prayer, cactus, prayer hands, cactus, prayer. cactus, and back to center. Now I'll take a step back with the left foot, that lunge, settle into it. Back leg is straight and strong, front knee is bent, front knee is over front ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale to shorten the stance and into short stance warrior one. Feet are parallel. There's still some lateral space between my feet. Imagine train tracks. If 
feet are separated. Rolling shoulders opening up to cactus arms here. Breathing, finally lifting the torso. Let's step up to prayer hands. Step back to cactus. Up to prayer. Back to cactus. Up to prayer. Cactus. Prayer. Come back to center. Find your breath. Let's take a big step back with the right foot. This time we'll do a longer stance for your body. Inhale, both shoulders rise up. Exhale, pivoting that back heel down. Now. So again, I've got my front knee over the front ankle, so there's a difference between my legs. I'm looking at the screen. I know I'm wearing black, it's hard to see. I'm putting more light on. Hopefully, that'll make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. A little bit better. All right. I'm in a um, Warrior One, extended this time. You don't have to extend the arms up, you can come back to cactus. You can stay in prayer, whatever feels good for you, it's your practice here. Now, this back leg is straight and strong. My hips are going to be a little bit open. I'm going to try to square them a little bit, but I don't want to twist my back knee a whole lot. So be mindful of your back knee when I tell you to push back with your left leg and forward with your right leg, bringing a little bit of squareness to your hips. Now, we'll sweep our arms behind us. Roll our shoulders, interlace our fingers. Here's that chest expansion again. Pressing the knuckles down this time, lifting the chest up. You can stay here. If you're comfortable, you can hinge forward, coming to humble warrior. Letting the head hang. Sliding the shoulders down the back, lifting the arms up if you'd like to. Humble warrior. So you're not comfortable folding over, don't fold over, just stand using chest expansion as we used it before. Humble warrior. Humble warrior. And if you're in humble warrior, we'll rise back up. Long knee to chest expansion. Let's inhale and exhale. Let's open our arms up and open up to warrior two. So for warrior two, you've got your left foot forward. Let me, let me flip so we're I'm mirroring you again. Your left foot is forward. Your right foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat. Your front heel lines up with your back arch. Your back heel is the furthest point from your body. You're not leaning forward or leaning to the side. You're upright, extended, gazing out past your left fingertips with a soft, unfocused gaze. Breathing, sinking down. Let's look down at your left foot. You should just see the big toe. If you see too many toes, your knee is too far open. Bring it back in. To see no toes might be too far in, but bring it back out. Just try to see one big toe. Warrior two. Next inhale, we'll lift up, flip the palm into reverse warrior. Legs haven't really changed. Again, I'm opening the side body, bringing the breath to the left ribs. Let's come back to warrior two. Let's shorten our stance and straighten the left leg. We'll press the left hip, the right hip out rather. Slide the rib cage to the left. Come into triangle. We can bring that left hand down to the leg, the floor, a block, whatever we've got. Right hand come up. Try to open the front body, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And triangle pose. The gaze can be down, forward and up. Take that length of the spine. Let's inhale and rise back up. Let's align our feet and knees so that our knees are pointing toward our toes. Let's inhale to extend up. Let's exhale for moon flowers, taking a gentle squat. We need all those inhale, lift up. Exhale, squat. Extend. Exhale, down. Open. Exhale. I'm going to add on to this. Inhale, open. Exhale, cross the arms, open, cross, and open. Inhale. Exhale, slowly, cross, and open, cross, and open. Inhale. Exhale, cross, open, cross, and open. Inhale. Rise back up. Find your breath. 
Let me enhance the home center. We'll just pivot to the left, bring the feet back together. This time, let's see, we step the right foot back before. We'll step the left foot back this time. In the mirror here. So step back with the left foot. Bring the heel down for long stance, warrior one, rolling shoulders, cactus arms an option, extended arms an option. Nice straight, strong back leg, round the outside edge of your foot, front knee bent, front knee over front ankle. And then lift in the front body. Then sweeping the arms behind, interlacing fingers and rolling shoulders back and down. Using chest expansion here. Or lifting and hinging for humble warrior. Now I'm mirroring you now. I wasn't mirroring you last time with the humble warrior. So don't be confused by that. You should have your right foot forward, your left foot back. Find your breath. You will rise back up. Take a breath. Let's inhale a lift and exhale to open to warrior two. Again, right foot forward, left foot back this time. Front heel lining up with back arch. Round the like back heel, spine stack. Soft, unfocused gaze past your right fingertips. Looking down at your right toe, just sitting the big toe, moving the knee in and out as you need to. Keep it aligned. Inhaling to flip the palm and lift up to reverse that warrior. Bringing breath to the right side body, expanding those ribs. Opening, lifting. And then we'll shorten this, come back to warrior two first, sorry. Shorten the stance, straighten that right leg. We'll push the left hip out. We'll slide the ribcage to the right your leg. Right arm down, get that front up. Try and hold the gaze down, forward or up. Squeezing shoulder blades together, in the front of your body. On your next inhale, we'll rise up. Take a breath. Let's bring our hands to our hips and shake that up. Now, if you want to grab a chair, or keep a chair handy. Next bit, we're going to fold forward, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So, come to a wide stance, this time with our toes pointing forward, our feet parallel. We'll roll the shoulders, interlace the fingers, press knuckles down. We'll take our chest expansion in a wide legged stance, this time hinging forward. But you don't have to hinge more than you want to. It feels good to you. Let the head hang, raise the arms up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Under the breaths here. Sinking and breathing. Releasing the fingers. You can bring your hands down to the floor or to your chair. That's better for you to put your hands on the chair versus the floor. Go right ahead and do that. It's fine. So whether you're on the floor or on the chair, we've got our hands under our shoulders, more or less. Let's plant the left hand under our nose, on the floor or the chair, keeping a long spine, a flat back. We'll inhale the right arm up into the air for a gentle twist. And gaze again down to the side or up. This can be on the floor or the chair. Relaxing back down. Grounding the right hand under your nose this time, we'll inhale the left arm up. That spine long for me. Whenever we're rotating our spine, we want it long. We don't want to be rounded over. Look to the side. Relax it back down. You can repeat the same thing, or instead of grounding the left hand, you can take the left hand to your right ankle and inhale your right arm back up again. Do what we did earlier on the chair, on the floor, 
with your hand up your nose, that's also still fine. We'll relax back to center. We'll ground the right hand under the nose or bring the right hand to the left ankle, your choice. Long spine, please. Inhale, lift up. Let's exhale back down, back to center. Let's put our fingertips under our shoulders, lengthen the spine. Think about your flat back, your halfway lift we practiced earlier. Just doing the same thing here, the wide stance. Let's ground our weight into our heels. Let's bring our hands to our hips with that long spine. We'll just rise back up. Let's pivot our heels in slightly so their knees are pointing toward our toes. Get a little adjusted with the hip stance. We'll just let the flowers here. Inhale to lift. This time we exhale. We squat, we swoop down the mattress, scooping an armful of flowers. Inhale and cast them out. Exhale, swoop down, scoop up those flowers, and come to spread them out. Now, up. Inhale, lift. Let's walk our feet back into center. Inhale to rise. Exhale to press. Inhale to rise. Exhale to press. And move into some balance work now. You've got a chair. You can use that chair if you want some assistance with this. If you've got, if you're on a soft surface, balance work will be more challenging. So if you're standing on carpet and you've got an option to move to hardwood and you want to do that, feel free. If you're on a mat, want to move to the floor, you can do that too. It'll be more stable. Start with tree pose. We have some options. We'll start from mountain with hands at heart center. We're going to ground into the left foot first. You might want to lift those toes again and place them back down on the floor. Option one will bring the right leg out to the side like a kickstand, giving us a little bit of support, but primarily balancing on our left leg. Option two will bring that right heel to that left ankle. We have a narrow base of support, primarily still on that left leg. Option three comes off the floor into the calf. Pressing the foot into the calf again into the foot. Option four will skip the knee. No pressure to your knee, please. But you can place your foot above the knee on your thigh. The tree pose. Again, pressing foot into thigh, thigh into foot. Whatever option you got, stay with that option. You can extend your arms up if you like to grow your tree. If you need to use a chair to take whatever option you want to take, feel free to use a chair as well. But try to primarily balance on the foot you're standing on. For extending, let's bring our arms back to heart center. Let's bring our, let's bring our knee forward. Let's cross over. We're standing four. If you're going to try this, you can push your hips back for a pigeon. Or just stand if you like. Slow rise back up. Shake our legs out. Now we'll ground into the right foot. The left foot can be our kickstand. Or we can put the heel to the ankle. Or the foot to the calf, or the foot to the thigh. We'll head into the chair if we want to. We can grow the tree if we want to. We'll press the foot into the leg, the leg into the foot. Help find stability. We'll come back to heart center. Bring that left leg forward. We'll cross it over. And stay right here. Hold your chair if you want to. Push your hips back. To a standing pigeon. Breathe. Still breathing. Just rise back up. Let's shake it out. Let's go for dancer. We've got options here too. Face your chair if you want to use your chair. Roll your shoulders. Let's sweep your Right arm up, bend your left leg back and grab the inside of your arch. 
you can just pull your foot back, opening up your hip, keeping the knee joint open, hang out here, and kick your foot into your hand and hinge forward to more fully express your dancer pose. You can also grab your chair. You can stretch with your chair. It's still dancing. We'll rise back up, we'll shake down. We'll shift the weight to the left foot. We'll sweep the left, the left arm up. We'll bend the right leg, we'll grab the inside of the arch. Pull back, opening the hip, keep the knee joint open, and hang out right here. You grab the chair if you need to. And kick your foot into your hand and hinge forward the hip. More fully expressing hands. So grab the chair how you want to. Back up. Shake it out. Okay. I think it's time to move back down to the mat. Just a nice gentle stretching. You want to have a seat on a blanket? You can. We'll bring our legs forward. I'm going to try staff pose first. It's a nice stretch, it's a nice spine length in there as well. If you have a strap at home and you want to use it around the belt, if you want to wrap that around the arches, excuse me, around the balls of your feet, pull back this up. We're still trying to find that mountain pose in our upper body. Shoulders back and down, sort of lifted. We also press our hands into the mat. Use our arms to press us up tall. Try to shine your sternum forward. Inhale, lift. And as you exhale, just press forward a little bit. We're not rounding over at all. You lift the chest. Then a hamstring stretch, breathing, pressing. Two or three breaths here. This is how we really engage the hamstrings. And we've gone as far as we can, and we breathe into it a couple of times. Inhale tall, exhale, and release and down the floor. Slide our hands to our shins, to our feet, or our toes. Head can come heavy. Now we need a deeper stretch. Up into the lower back as well. Use your inhale, expand, and exhale to sink. Sinking breath. You inhale, you hold where you are, and exhale. Sink. Let's see that breath. Let's bring the right foot to the left inner thigh. Inhale tall. Stand up with your front of belt or strap back over the ball of your foot if you like. Just go into the sternum. Exhale. Hinge it forward. The spine long. Inhale lengthen. Put those arms up past your ears if you want to. Arm pedals come straight forward, but they're not pulling you down. They take you up and forward. Inhale expand. Exhale sink. Couple of breaths here, then we'll inhale and exhale to release and round over. Now we can release down the head, neck, and shoulders. We can grab the shin, the foot, the toes, letting the head hang heavy, letting the nose sink toward the knee. Shoulders are stretched also. Just melt into it. This should not be painful. Don't go so deep that it hurts you. You have to listen to the body. Let it tell you how fast and how far you can go. And we'll slowly sit back up. Let's lift that right knee. You can plant that right foot either inside your thigh or outside your opposite thigh. What you We're going to sweep the right arm back behind us and inhale the left arm up into the air. We'll exhale the left elbow across the right leg. You can also grab it if it's more comfortable for you to grab it this way. It really works this way. Inhale tall. Exhale again to turn to your right. A nice long spine. Inhale lengthen. Exhale twist. Don't overdo your twist. You don't feel it, but you don't want to wrench anything. So be gentle. Lift the shoulder. Relax back through center. We're going to walk our hands to our left for a little counter twist. 
come back to center, uncross the leg, straighten both legs out, shake it out, bounce your calves. Now let's bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh, so it's opposite from before, and do the same one you did before. You've got a strap or belt, wrap around the ball of your foot, you roll your shoulders, you're going to stand up and lift and lengthen. Exhale, reach forward. Reach forward if you like, but it's forward, not down. Lift it up and lean forward. Now, as you lift an extension from your spine, exhale, deep into your lunge. Couple breaths. Now we'll inhale and exhale, release it around the over, the head back and down. Back up. Let's lift that left leg, left knee. You can plant that left foot either inside the thigh or outside the thigh. We'll sweep the left arm back this time like a kickstand, pressing us up nice and tall. We'll inhale the right arm up into the air. We'll exhale across the leg, we'll grab onto the leg. Inhale tall, exhale to twist. With each inhale, bring more length to your spine. Up. And each exhale, take a deep breath to the twist, nice and available to you. Last looking over the shoulder. Now relaxing back through center, walking our hands to the right, the gentle counter twist. Slide our feet to the top of the mat. We're going to move on to our backs in just a moment. We we'll give you two ways to do this. Um, I think it's easier to grab onto one leg, roll yourself down, release that leg back out. A little more challenging to sit up tall, extend your arms, tuck your toes, and then roll down. So take a choice. Bring yourself all the way down to the mat on your back. Let's do a little bit of core work while we're here today. Let's bend our knees and plant our feet fairly close to our back sides. Let's put our hands on our thighs. Now, keeping the lower back down, this is not a sit up, this is a, a sort of beginning crunch. We're going to slide our fingertips toward our knees, peeling our shoulders off the mat like this. And then slide up and down. Use your breath. Exhale as we close the body. Inhale as we open the body. Exhale to scoop. Let's do 10. Nine. Eight. Whatever range works for you. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way down to the mat, relax your arms. It's wide enough, stands out to the edges of the mat, so our feet are as wide apart as the edges of the mat. These are falling in more, we'll just sway back and forth, side to side. Coming back to stillness, let's hug knees to chest. Rock out the back a little bit. Now you can plant your feet again and do just knee swing side to side again if you like. A little bit more core activity, moving our legs to the top. Embrace our arms, keep our shoulder blades press to the floor, and roll from side to side like a spinal twist. 
Go at your own pace. Whatever range works for you. Just sway the knees or roll the legs. It's your choice. Next time you finish the second side, we'll come back to center. We'll hug our knees in once more. This time let's grab each knee with one hand and circle the legs like that leaders in opposite directions. Reverse directions. Coming to stillness, let's extend the left leg out and down. Now bringing the left hand to the right leg, we're pulling the right leg across the body, rolling onto the left hip, keeping our shoulder blades grounded, extending the right arm out to the side, and turning the head to the right for spinal twist. Now don't force this, please. Please relax, breathe, and just melt into it. Inhale and exhale to sink deeper, but let the body tell you how far, how deep you can twist. Then we can do it. Now coming back to stillness, let's hug both knees in one more time. We'll look in a circle three times, one direction. Reverse and go three times the other direction. Come to stillness. Now releasing the right leg out and down, bringing the right hand to the left thigh, pulling the left thigh across the body, rolling onto the right hip this time, still keeping shoulders braced against the floor. Extending the left arm to the side and turning the head to the left. A spinal twist, breathing, melting, and sinking into it. Inhale and exhale. Check the twist. Coming back to center, we'll hug the knees in. And we'll bring our arms in between our knees. Try to grab the outside edges of our feet or the inside edges of our feet, whatever you like. If you can't grab your feet, just grab your thighs. It's fine. We're going to point our feet toward the ceiling and pull our, feet, our knees toward the floor. Try to bring your whole spine down to the mat on the whole floor. We're happy baby. We'll just rock from side to side. If you like it here. Coming back to stillness, let's release the legs out and down. Let your arms come down to the mat with your palms up. We're moving into our final relaxation. I'd like you to close your eyes and make any adjustments you need to make to feel comfortable and feel grounded into the mat. If you have a blanket to put under your head or roll up under your knees, that's also fine to do. The goal here is to feel fully supported, grace and stable, that you're grounded and melting into your mat. Eyes are closed, bringing focus to the breath once again. We'll release any tension around your eyes and your forehead. Relax the jaw. Soften your neck. Just let your shoulders melt into the floor. Let your arms just be loose. Let your spine sink down. Let your abdomen sink into the floor. Hips melt into the mat. Legs are relaxed. Your feet are just falling out to the side. There's no effort in your body at all. You're just breathing. Following the breath, observing the breath. If you have any random thoughts, you can just observe those as well. Let them pass. Return to your breath and follow your breath. Be equal to your shikasa.
So let's begin to deepen the breath. Come back to the body. Oh my rock the head from side to side. Oh my great movement to the fingers and toes. Perhaps we want to circle our wrists and ankles. Which direction? We can sweep our arms up over our head for full body stretch, extending and reaching out through fingers and toes in opposite directions. Exhaling to relax. Inhaling to lengthen instead. Exhaling to release. Inhaling reaching out through fingers and toes. Exhaling to relax. The breath. Rolling onto one side. Perhaps resting the head on the arm. Stacking shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip. Eyes still closed. Still breathing, still following the breath. And now with as little effort as possible, we press ourselves back up to a comfortable seated position. Stacking the spine, rolling the shoulders back into the sternum. Feeling a sense of elevation in the body, bringing hands to heart center. Coming back to our attention. That with us through the day. Thank you for sharing this practice with me this morning. Namaste. And I could hear you saying Namaste back. Thanks for being here. Um, coming soon, a 30 day fitness challenge. So look for that. This video will be live on the feed, we'll back on replay on the feed on Facebook very soon. And I am posting these videos to um, the club website as I can get to them. Again, thanks for being here.